Sparks flew tonight in Bellevue as the city council discussed a settlement of a harassment claim by a former police officer. Reporter Maya Signs is live in Bellevue with the details. Maya? Yeah, yeah, Jen, it was a packed house here at the Bellevue City Council meeting tonight, which consisted mostly of Bellevue police officers upset over a proposed settlement from the city to a Bellevue Police Department employee. Now, no officer spoke tonight, but some of their wives did on their behalf. The Bellevue City Council Chambers was packed with one topic at the forefront, a settlement from the city of Bellevue to Lori Sinewicki, a former police officer and now manager of the Office of Professional Standards. The proposed $125,000 settlement to Sinewiki over her claims that she had been harassed and subjected to a hostile work environment by the Bellevue Police Officers Association was on the consent agenda, but the city attorney and some city councilmen argued it was a confidential personnel matter that should not be discussed in public. And I don't think it's a format uh, which would lead to anything productive. In fact, uh, if there was anything, I'd ask you to go into closed session now so that we can discuss this. While the council went into a half hour closed session to discuss whether or not to discuss the settlement publicly, wives of police officers addressed the room. The city administration is doing nothing about that. They're hiding behind closed doors, obviously. They don't want us to be heard. They don't want our voices to be heard. The Bellevue Police Officers Association has said no harassment towards Sinewiki was ever made and instead say they only question her handling of an internal investigation conducted by Sinewiki that resulted in the temporarily firing of Sergeant Dontrell Ducker, a BPOA member. She lied and she's getting paid for it. How right is that? People should be fired for lying, especially in this job. Molly Ducker, wife of Sergeant Ducker, says she, along with her husband, want better leadership from Bellevue. I mean, it's definitely taken a toll on him. It's something we talk about every single day for the last year and a half. Every day. There's a lot more to this story. There are eight legal actions pending between the police officers and the, the city of Bellevue. And this is going to continue costing uh, the city money. And if the standard is now that we're going to pay out 125000 to settle each of these eight actions, well, that's going to cost the citizens a million dollars. Now, I did reach out to Lori Sinewiki tonight. She sent me a statement saying that this whole situation has been damaging to her and her health. Now, she says that over the past couple of years, individuals within the department have intentionally created an environment of, decent, of deceit and hostility by repeatedly targeting me and my role in the department. Those actions have unjustly caused significant damage to my professional reputation, health and well-being, as well as that of my family. It deeply saddens me that an impeccable 22 year career in law enforcement may come to an end under these circumstances and due to no fault of my own. Reporting live from Bellevue, Maya Signs, 3 News Now.